Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up the Jazzion bot in TradeLab. I've already created a pre-made uh, template for you to copy, so you just need to go to Community Strategies, and we're going to scroll down to find the Jazzion bot. If we go ahead and click Copy, and then click Yes, this will copy over to our My Strategies page. We can see my Jazzion bot. I'll go ahead and click Edit. This will start up the strategy setup process. It'll tell us that we have 12 steps to follow to set up our alerts. We'll click do it now. And uh, first it's gonna ask us to set up our exchange. If you haven't set up an exchange already, you can do so in the settings screen. Then I'll also select my symbol. Today I'm gonna go with ADA. And then for my max trade amount, this is the percentage of your balance that you would like to use. So 4%. And that's going to be the maximum I'm going to trade. So the way that this uh, strategy works, it has 1x, 2x, 3x, and 4x. So 1x would trade 25%, 2x would trade 50%, 3x, 75%, and 4x would trade all of it. So if I am going to trade 4x, I would trade 4% of my balance. If I'm gonna trade 1x, it would be 1%. Uh, if I change this to eight, then 1x would be 2%, right? So I'm gonna click continue. It's now going to ask me to set up my alerts. So it'll walk me through each of these. I'll click LX1 to start out with. And it gives me instructions. It says, create a new trading view alert and use the settings below. So, under the condition for the first one, if we go to uh, trading view and we click on uh, create alert here, we can see that it has condition at the top. So if we look at the condition, it says select the Jazion alert indicator and then select LX1. So I don't actually have Jazion uh, available to me. You can go find it in the indicator section. Um, and if you don't have it, uh, you can get it by going to the detail right here. And you would scroll down and you can contact uh, this gentleman on Discord. Um, and he can uh, give you instructions on how to get access to this. We are using the alerts. We are not using the strategy. Uh, we also support the strategy. Uh, that's for another video, but we're setting up the alerts today. So you would click on the alerts, get that set up. You would go to your uh, create alert and you would select, you would see it in here, Jazzion bot. So when you select that, you're going to see a screen like this. So here you'll have all the different uh, 12 alert options and each one of these we're gonna create an alert for, okay? So you, if we go back to Trade Lab, we can see that it tells us to select the LX1 from this drop down. So you would uh, look at trading view, you would select Jazzion bot, there would be a drop down right here. You select that drop down and do LX1. Okay, so you do LX1, and then it, for the options, it would look sort of like this. You would select uh, once per bar. So we'd select LX1 here, once per bar. Uh, and then we would select open-ended if we can. If not, you'll need to set the expiration to as far as you can, and then remember to update it. If this does expire, um, your alert will turn off and your bot won't work anymore. So kind of important to keep up the expiration date. We also um, need to worry about the webhook URL. So if we go back to Trade Lab, we can click on webhook URL, and we can paste that in here. Uh, and then we can also set up our alert name, paste that in there, and then I can grab my message, click on it right here, and paste that in. <clears throat> so that is the process of setting up an alert. We would hit create, and that would create the LX1 alert. Uh, we can then hit back on Trade Lab, and we need to do LX2 now. So we would do the same thing. Uh, the nice thing is when we create a new alert, we would select this. Our uh, webhook URL should already be there. It should be the same. So we just need to click on the name, 
paste it and click on the message, paste it. And we're gonna do this for each alert 12 times. So you're gonna click, you're gonna uh, create all the alerts. And when you're done with the creating of the alerts, uh, this will say all done and you'll click all done. Okay. Uh, if you don't wanna create all those alerts and deal with that, you can use the strategy version. Um, so remember, I, I looked at these indicators and if I type in Jazion, there's the alerts and strategy. You can use the strategy and I can get you set up with that in the uh, trading view generic uh, uh, setup video. So I have a trading view generic setup video. If you just follow that for the strategy, you can get it set up. Uh, this gives you a little bit more control um, depending on how you want to uh, automate things. Um, and so we've just set up our 12 alerts. Uh, if you ever need help setting up the alerts again, you can click on alert instructions and uh, that'll instruct you on how to set up the alerts. So now that our alerts are set up, all we need to do is uh, make sure that our leverage is correct, make sure that our order type uh, is set correctly. If you do market, you don't have to worry about time and force. If you do limit, you should select some sort of time and force. Usually GTC is good by default. This is good till cancel. Um, if you do good till cancel, uh, you'll need to time out the order. Uh, so you can set it to time out in one minute by default. So this is hours, minutes, and seconds. So one minute, uh, it'll be open for, and then it'll cancel itself if it doesn't get filled. Okay. We can also do a uh, limit offset. So if you wanted to offset your limit and give yourself a buffer when placing a limit order, you can do that as well. Uh, we're going to be handling two uh, take profit lines for you. There is no stop loss set. If we did want to set up a stop loss, we can go into configure TPSL and we can create a stop loss. So what kind of line do you want to make? A stop loss line. How many lines do you want to make? Just one. Where do I want to place the line? Maybe I'll do 0.9%. Okay, and we'll do next. Uh, when the line is hit, what do you want to do? I want to take profit because we're going to close it and we're going to do 100% and take all of that out. Right? And uh, what type of order do you want to place? I'm going to place, actually, go back. I want to place a market order for my uh, stop line and I'll name it stop line. I'll hit finish. And now I got a stop line set at 0.9% uh, uh, and it's going to take out 100%. Uh, when it gets hit. So I'll hit save and that's about it. We'll go ahead and hit save and exit. And now we can see our Jazz uh, bot. It's ready to go. It's looking for entry uh, and it's searching. So that's how we know it's, it's on and ready to go. So now that I have this set up, let's talk about testing this. Trading view doesn't really allow us to send test alerts. Uh, we have to wait around for an alert to come in, but Trade Lab, allows us to send alerts anytime that we want so that we can test. So if we click edit and we go to the alerts tab, you'll see all these alerts that we saw earlier. Um, these alerts have a little test button right here. It looks like a little paper airplane. If you click on this, this allows you to send a test alert. You just have to hit send test alert and uh, it'll create an alert and run it through the rules. Now, if we just send a test alert, it won't place a real order. If we want to place a real order, we can check this box and it'll place a real order on the exchange. Um, so if we hit send alert, it'll go ahead and process. And if we just give it a moment and perhaps refresh the page, uh, I don't have my API set up, but we can see that it went ahead and succeeded and it triggered an entry. And we can see that the conditions got met and so the actions were run. So this is an example of looking at alert history and seeing what ran for an alert. So this is the alert that got sent and these were all the rules that got run. So this is one strategy here it's running its entry rules. Those were the blue rules that we saw earlier. And this particular rule succeeded. All these other rules failed. So it was the right um, symbol, but it was the wrong type. So this one failed. 
If you open up this one, this one failed as well. If you look at this one here, this one succeeded. And so it went ahead and ran these actions. So this gives you an idea of what the bot is doing. Um, the idea is that you can come into alert history here on the left, and you can see all the alerts that are being sent. You can click on any of them and you can see what the bot is doing at any given time. Um, so real important, um, that was actually a test alert there. There we go. So that's an example of looking at uh, rule history and testing your strategy. So now that we have that all set up, you should be good to go. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to join us on Discord. You can also go to the help button um, and ask your questions here or create a support ticket um, and ask questions directly. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates and have a great night.